Hello Fierce Labs, welcome to the part one of this two-part Victoria's Secret bags and accessories new arrivals for 2020. We're in Victoria's Secret have revamped their accessories line and I will be sharing with you what fits inside it. This part one will be the pinks collection and the part two is the black collections. So without further ado, let's get started. The way your body syncopates You're driving me crazy So hello for yourself Today I am going to share with you, like I mentioned earlier Victoria's Secret Bags and Accessories New Arrivals Which is arrive about August, September 2020 And I noticed that Victoria's Secret keep on adding new products here and there on their website and we are going to talk about those today I'm going to share with you the items that i have unbox unwrap rather and then we are going to see what fits inside those and comparing them with the older designs or just the 2019 designs of Victoria's Secret Pet. So last time, um, about a week ago, when I bought these items, there is a promotion wherein you buy one item in full price and then the next one is half the price. So yes! Um... Packing time, unpacking. This is not a box, so I cannot say unboxing, right? Okay, so as I mentioned, there are pink ones here and there are black ones. When I see the black one, I am going to put it in the bag for the meantime. And then I am going to put that on the part two of the video. Otherwise, we are going to be here for 20 hours <laughs> talking about this, yeah. Okay, so, well, thank you so much also for all the love and support and the nice comments that you gave on my previous Victoria's Secret videos. I think we are now more than 8,000 views for those uh, pink bags that I bought, which is also two parts. So I made a Victoria's Secret playlist on my channel so you can all enjoy those videos that I have. And if I have a review, okay, so I'm going to this this are all of it and it's quite a lot <laughs> I'm going to remove the black ones and um, look at those on the next part so I see the blacks and another black which is and another black and another black so <laughs> Lots more black. Okay, it's actually more blacks than the pink, so that's good because this is already a long video. And these are the items that I bought. So we have a list right here. Okay. And then I am going to unpack first the... Oh, I only have two pinks because the other one is... Uh, it's, it's not an accessory it's a beauty product or it's a lotion so i'm going to show you this one first it's on the sale it's a very good price 70 percent off it's actually the cheapest lotion that they have on the website and i just want this like i always want a foot massage yeah and i love lotion for the foot massage so <laughs> or actually like it could be like for my uh, back back rub also back massage and all that so yeah whatever massage this is going to be it and it's this one Ta -da! and this is called the Victoria Secret Oasis Blooms in 236 ml and I regret not grabbing more because I could have uh, given this as a gift okay the lighting is too harsh okay there so it looks like that and I'm going to insert a photo on the screen so you would see this better. It says fragrance lotion and at the back it says citrus flower coconut musk let's escape and I am going to smell it. This packaging is also luxurious looking so I'm going to open that right here. Oh wow that smells so good. Oops! <laughs> I poured it in and it's like all over the plastic now okay so that smells so good oh wow now i wish they have more what 
you actually don't have to open it like this because you could just push this part right here i didn't see that right away because it's been a long time since i bought a lotion like this way and then it's going to drop from this small hole over here okay sorry don't make the same mistake that i did okay i did that for you already <laughs> so here is lots of lotion oh wow i really like that scent it's very mild um and it says it has what again citrus flower coconut musk okay i like coconut and the citrus there is like really prominent and that smells so so good and it smells so good now so now i am going to unbox the two other pink products right here. so now i'm wrapping this one and do you already know what it is i think it's quite obvious right so let's go ahead and unpack it right now and i'm gonna try to do a little bit more faster pace in this video um otherwise it's gonna be like super long so ta-da it's this one and this one is called the victoria card case keychain that's what it's called in the website and it's just so stunning this is how it looks on the front and this is how it looks at the back so the tag here says um victoria's secret and then the price was eighteen dollars and it says made in the philippines yeah so i can assure you that the quality of the products is so good because quality control in the philippines is very very good way better than <laughs> oh well so that and um so i am going to let you know more about this one so it's uh called the signature stripe uh card case and uh description for this one is one and done keep cards and keys in one chick place in a color block finish with a signature stripe and v monogram hardware right there so and this one is just so cute and the black one is an enamel material what i can say and i noticed also that here of course we have the victoria's secret engraved on the lobster class that's round and this is the extra part wherein this one holds the keys so it even says attaches to bag from this one with the, this lobster clasp um, and it goes like this so you push this and then it opens like so and you can attach that to anywhere also says can be used separately as a card case or a keychain because this part is where you could put your keys so this is for those people on the go who doesn't want to bring a lot of things with them you can just grab this put your keys on this key holder right here grab your phone and then you're good so you don't have so much things with you otherwise you can just have this put your keys put it on your bag and then that's it you don't have way too many things with you anymore so the exterior has four card slots so two in here and then two at the back and then there's one zip coin pocket right here and that one is the one with this holder and then it's 4.3 inches for the length and then the width is 2.75 and then the material is still imported polyurethane so that's it what i can tell you about this one as compared to the one that i'm currently using right now is that it's more of like a saffiano leather feel um, and this is the one that i'm currently using at the moment which is the victoria's secret v quilt card case and as you see this is a little bit bigger than the one on the new just a teeny tiny bit but i don't mind because this one has an extra uh, key holder right here for your keys which is really really cool uh, but they're both round and has victoria's secret engraved on that part of the lobster class like as i mentioned you can like uh, push this part and then you can hook that to a part of your bag or whatnot and then um what i can say is that a maximum of two cards per side or per pocket so two here two here 
to there to there but that's the maximum it's going to be a little bit bulgy and that's only if you don't have anything inside of the zip part right here if you have coins then that's not gonna work it's gonna be way too much um but i do not overuse my card case like that so i only put here uh two uh, or rather um three cards in the front and three cards in the back but that's the ones that i only need and that's what you could see in here so if you remove this white paper then you can put the cards that you want in there so um normally it's four you can do up to six and maximum of eight that's all there you go and yeah i i like it so that's really nice that um i can keep on interchanging them even though they're both pink so that the other one will not be like you know like way too worn out right away i have three so this is the old victoria's secret signature stripe and this is the new one right now so the stripe is still like um well vertical vertical like so with the light pink and then the like the super light pink and then the regular pink stripes right there and this has a heart for the clasp so right so and then like that and they are exactly the same material so that's that and then yeah now i have three that's good well i'm not really planning to collect all of the pink ones but it's really nice to have like a backup and then i am going to finally proceed with the larger package right here don't forget that i have a part two of this video otherwise it's gonna be so long right so yeah this one right here is a bag and they, they, would you would you be able to guess which one it is let's go ahead and unwrap it because i'm so excited so it's, it's speaking on right here and it's this one and you know what i am not certain if because Circuit have already made something like this before maybe they did but this is the first time that i have this one they didn't have anything like this on the, their the signs that came out last year that I saw on the website, and mind you, I am very updated on the Victoria's Secret website all the time. But mostly on the bags and accessories and then up to the perfume parts, not really into those, um, the, the, what should we call it, the lingeries and the other clothing and apparel, not so much. But yeah, so this is the bag, and oh my gosh, it's so exciting. So it's a lot more bigger than the other one, but I'm gonna let you know about the name of this one first okay so going back to the website the name of this one is the victoria top zip cross body and that's uh, the name maybe came or the reason for that is this one right here because it's zipped on the top <laughs> that's why they call it top zip but this is also similar to those camera bags what they call which uh, all of the other contemporary and luxury brands has but this is like a little bit m bigger than those ones like a lot more bigger than the Marc Jacobs camera bag or a snap shot snap sh snap something bag that they call and I'm also going to share with you how different it is from the crossbody bag that they had last time but they they still have this design um they just revamped it not just the exact same front but they have this bag this side so as you see this is a lot bigger than this one and this is the color difference the problem is if you notice um throughout the video that my lighting have changed it really did because i started filming at around like four and i had way too many problems with the video um and then now it's nighttime i don't have any more light than the ring light so let me go ahead and try to adjust the light so I adjusted the light a little bit, but you could really see that this one in blush, this is what they call blush before in Victoria's Secret, is much more of a light pink. And this one is like um, the one that they call orchid blush now is much more leaning into like a more salmon color. Not really peachy, but like more on the salmon pink, if you see it, if you know what I mean. So there hopefully i'll be able to insert a clip where in or, or next time i could do another video where in this natural lighting because right now i'm i'm relying to the ring light uh, my window is still open but it's like completely gray and going dark in the sky right now but 
yeah so that's the difference some of us might still want to have the lighter pink but there's only a few places that you could find this one but this one is the new type of pink that Victoria's Secret has and I'm really happy that I have this one and I don't mind having this one so I have a variety of pink in my collection so let's go ahead and check out this bag so I'll just remove the plastic material or this uh, leather that they have and there is a Victoria's Secret engraved on this part of the bag and it's nice that you could adjust it depending on how long or how short you wanted your crossbody bag and you cannot detach this one because there's no lobster clasp for it unless you really wanted to like totally remove it but it's not really detachable easily that's what i could tell you so it's really made meant to be or designed to be a crossbody bag so on the website the product description is sleek and hands-free our wear everywhere go to this softly structured crossbody is finished with a sleek top zip for easy access and that's that one so it's very easy for you to to grab your stuff just open it like so and close it like so and then um so for easy access to your phone and essentials and signature v quilt and the v monogram hardware right here which is in pink so it says it fits phone wallet keys and lip gloss they really have to put the lip gloss there that's very important and then it says that the um, one interior pocket with mirror i am very intrigued by that interior pocket with mirror that they're talking about so let's go ahead and check it out so it's, i already opened it and then let's remove this stuff stuffy thing that they put so it holds the shape of the bag okay now show me the mirror <laughs> mirror mirror on the wall okay so this is how it looks inside there's no other pocket than this one at the back right here okay and then oh wow so i also noticed that the v in there is a little bit stitched yeah so it's like a, a stitch one not just like a laser printed logo on the pocket that's cool and then the mirror okay this is it mirror mirror on the wall okay oh cool look at that so the mirror has a tiny ribbon like so and then you can grab it like this but it's just like like a mirror like this and there is victoria's secret right there on the bottom of the mirror victoria's secret sorry if you could see like this crazy things in here but it's very easy to also see it from the back. Victoria's Secret. There. Okay, so that's the mirror. I thought it's going to be like the one with the handle and it's attached to the bag. So, nope, it's just like this. Um, yeah, it's a cute touch, but um, not so surprised. Plus, the uh, Victoria's Secret bags, I must mention to you, all of the bags increased the price from the previous uh, design. So, they ha are much more expensive now. Um, the wallets are about the same price, for at least for the card case. But the long wallets, um, those also like uh, differ in, in price also. So, that's that. And there's a lot of things that we can put inside and like, come on, that's big. I think this could even... You could even put an iPad here, but just to make sure I will let them grab it. So now we are on the part of this video where we are going to check which items fits inside. Okay, so I got my iPad here, but my iPad is on um, a case. Okay, so that's my iPad. It's low battery, <laughs> but I, I'm sure that it fits. Looks like that. And then, yeah, it fits in there even though there is a case for it 
and just to make sure yes you could even close it so i'm going to put a little bit of extreme products in here so let's say okay i got my ipad in there and then what else could fit in there elizabeth okay so if you are the type of person who uses a long wallet like this and you have a victoria's secret wallet also or whatever brand then that also fits i can show you that already this is uh just have to put it a little low because my nails is sticking on it okay all right so there so the with the ipad and the wallet it's quite full but there is still some space in there so okay we have some important things to put of course the phone okay so you wanted to put the phone in there whatever size it is even the largest size of phone fits because the ipad fits right so that fits in there yes um i have a key holder in here which is very important so i'm going to put that there too on the side so do all of those things fit in there of course i'm going to need my airpods right here and so i'm i can just put that here on the top so right there right there and then what's gonna happen with, with my life if i don't have a lipstick so i am going to grab a lipstick here and i am I'm of course grabbing the lipstick that has a mirror already which is this girl lan rouge g lipstick and then i'm gonna put that there and then i still have a little bit of space but nah i'm not gonna put anything more because i have almost everything that i needed in there could even replace the lipstick with a lip gloss or a lip balm and that's it they all fit in there so at least you know what fits and yes it's heavy but this victoria's secret bags i know for sure because i've been using a lot for years already are very good quality and they even um umped it up for this time they make it look and feel more luxurious so yes i highly recommend but before i forget there's this one thing right here that they added of course this is additional cost additional price to add a trinket in there so as you see it's a very nice one it says victoria's secret wow they put the bond street london underneath the victoria's secret trinket in here which is in leather and then that is in a, like a um enamel in pink and then gold hardware for the printing it still has a plastic so if you're if i remove that one i should remove it so you will be able to see it and then that is like so cool and i noticed this on all of their bags that they put additional of this depend the color depends also on the color and the sign of the bag that's cool i just also wanted to know if you could like remove this and then put it elsewhere and you know what my suspicions are correct you could remove this very cute trinket in here because you could easily snap it off and snap it back on so you could remove it like so okay i haven't removed this one yet but uh you could remove it like so and then you can hang it wherever or even on your other bags and then close it so i could actually move this one and put it on my other bags if i wanted to which i would for sure thank you for watching this video everybody and don't forget to go ahead and check out the part two black victoria secret items and actually there is a part three so stay tuned for that and check out all my victoria secret videos